Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So this is actually just a very, very, really quick PSA video um, of me talking a little bit about why it's actually worth it for some people to get the Light Gatito. And this is mainly for the people that are able to get an Evil 3 Dark 1, Water 1, and, and Wood 1 already. And there's only 3 days left for the event. No, 4 days left um, for the event. Or maybe 3 days. But if you have some Gatitos left over and you're thinking about, you know, whether you want to just use them, release them, or use them for fodder, or if you should raise a light one or a fire one, I'm here to tell you that it's actually worth it in terms of, um, you know, gain and astro gems to actually get the light Gatito. Now this monster by itself is, um, you know, if you're able to like farm this fast and get that this many, it, chances are your monsters are pretty strong like you've been farming really hard you, either you went really hard you're just like really serious about the game or your monsters are really strong maybe you have some like siphoning monsters that can farm through the maps really fast um, or you just ba basically been grinding gatitos and nothing else um, for me I basically was just farming for dragon sigils and I happened to catch a lot of gatitos and now I have a lot of gatitos left over so this is mainly for those people. If you're really, really early game, you should definitely get the dark one. Um, if you still haven't gotten it yet, like there's still three days left. Your last chance is probably to try to farm, um, farm normal mode and try to grind. It's like if you have some astro gems left over, just don't worry about the astro gem loss of farming normal mode, and just keep farming normal mode like as as fast as you can and try to get as many Gatitos as possible, and at least to try to get the Dark 1 Evo 3. Afterwards, it's kind of up to you if you want to pursue the Water or the Wood 1. I definitely do recommend them because they're really, really good for Titans. Um, it doesn't really hurt too much to, to just grab them and get one to Evo 3. But afterwards, the question comes if you should actually get the, the Light 1 or maybe make a Fire 1 and get it to Evo 3. So, I'm going to be referencing a guide or not a guide, but a Reddit post, a very, very old Reddit post by Pill Newbie. Um, this was five months ago. And yeah, shout out to him for actually doing the calculations. Obviously, this is calculation that anyone can do, but he actually, you know, jotted all of them down and listed everything. So um, it's definitely really, really nice. But basically, what this tells you is if you're trying to complete the Astro Guide, it's basically always worth it to Evil 3 a monster for the first time because you always gain a little bit of gold, even for Nat 3 monsters. Nat 3s actually give the the least amount of gold gain um, compared to all the other ones, like Nat 2s and, um, and Nat 4s. But uh, it's still kind of worth it. Like You actually do get something, and if you happen to be going through the maps and you find these Gatitos, you might as well cash them and evolve them for Nat 3s to complete your Astro Guide. Now, I'm not 100% sure if the Gatito counts um, in the in completing the Astro Guide as a Nat 4 or a Nat 3. If Nat 4s with Nat 3 counterparts will will actually count for the you know for, for Nat 4s when you're completing the Astro Guide. But even if it only counts for a Nat 3, it's still worth it in terms of Astro Gem gain in order to um, basically make it like a Tito and get it to three stars. So that's that's probably the first point. You should definitely like do it to complete the guide. But uh, another thing actually came into mind um, be because the Light Gatito actually takes an Evil 2 Gatito plus an Evil 2 Cosmo to fuse. So um, you're basically sacrificing like eight monsters basically to get this one Light Gatito and it, if, it's, if it's actually worth it. And there's actually another reason why this is actually worth it um, versus just Evil 3 and another random, random 3 star monster because you know the gain for, for 3 star and 4 star is not that big and you're basically sacrificing um, seven extra monsters in order to get this monster to complete the Astro Guide for the first time. The other reason why this is worth it is because he's a Nat 4 monster. Like, it doesn't matter if, if he counts in the Astro Guide as a Nat 4 monster, but he counts in the Rebirth Festival as a Nat 4 monster. So you see where I'm going with this. After you're finished, you, after you completed the Astro Guide, got him to Evil 3, and you're done with him, you can actually just straight out use him for um, the next Hero's Rebirth, basically. You can throw him in the meat grinder, and um, you never will have to see him again. So... You know, there's, it's like a, it's basically win-win. You, you get to complete the Astro Guide um, for, for the first time, and it kind of fills up your Astro Guide. You can, you know, uh, get, you can, you can get OCD points for that. You know, complete, completing the, as, as many monsters in the Astro Guide as possible. Obviously, this is just like, it doesn't really benefit anyone, but um, you can also get Astro Gems. You know, you get, you actually get a, a positive gain in Astro Gems for first time um, evil 3 him. 
and you also can use him for Rebirth Festival in the future. So that's why it's definitely worth it to grab a like Tito only if you're able to... Well, actually, even if you're not able to get him to Evo 3, I think it's still worth it to grab him, just because you can use him for for a Rebirth Festival in the future. But if you're if you if you grab them, um, you have some Katitos left over. It's worth it to get them to Evil Three because you can actually get more Astro Gems, and then on the next Rebirth Festival, you can feed them away. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's just a really really quick um, PSA video explaining to you why it's worth it to um, try to get an Evil Three like Katito as well, even after you're done with the other ones. So yeah, I'm actually going to be farming more Katitos and trying to get one to Evil Three. Um, actually. Didn't really think too much about it. I fed a few Gatitos away for Rebirth yesterday, which is a mistake on my part. But I'm, I'm slowly getting my Gatitos back. I think I should have. Um, well, actually, I'm I'm short quite a lot. But uh, hopefully, hopefully before the, the three day limit um, passes, I will be able to get a light Gatito to Evo three. So yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.